today. Now, going over to the political part podcast, you have Vivek on Nikki Haley canceling her Iowa events, getting 1 million views in the first six hours. Now, this comes from Vivek's personal account on X, or as fewer and fewer people seem to be calling it, on the Twitter. And he says, quote, Nikki Haley canceled her events in Sioux City, Iowa to, quote, avoid embarrassment. I'm headed to Sioux City for our event right now. We're not canceling four events in Northeast Iowa, keep, keeping them intact. If you can't handle the snow, you can't handle Xi Jinping, unquote. And he is responding to Link Lauren. And Link Lauren said Nikki Haley, Haley's advanced team wouldn't let her walk into this event for the fear of public humiliation. She is created and propped up by her donors, unquote. And granted, this is only 15 seconds long, so not too long. Play that really quick here. You look around me, technically, this is an event that was supposed to start in the last few minutes. And of course, it's empty. You've got empty chairs, stuff packed up in the corner and signs just hanging on the wall. The only way you'd know that Nikki Haley was supposed to be here. They canceled this event just a few minutes ago. You look. Dang, a whole empty room. It's all about framing, though. You could say this room is geared for new Nikki Haley fans. We made room for you or something to that effect. I mean, not really. There's only so much framing you can do. But nevertheless, as youth might say, that did go viral. Again, getting over a million views in less than six hours. And it got 20,000 likes, which is quite a few. And it's a little disgusting. To, eh, can't decide if it's good marketing or viscerally disgusting to see how she, what is the vernacular she put around the Iowa, this Iowa silhouette logo, where it has the border of Iowa. Let me see here. Did I even show it all the way? What does it say? That's not good marketing. Again, where are these camera people? Does this just say pick Haley? Huh. Yeah, that's not great. And again, she should be doing... Again, she is going up in the polls, but considering how much more resources she has now compared to earlier in the year, or let me rephrase that, last year, because again, the year is quite young, yeah, obviously, but she got, well, not all, but a lot of DeSantis' donors have migrated over to her. So she has some of the most resources in the nominee, you know, this whole Republican nominee race. She should be carrying it away. And now that I'm curious, now that I mention it, let's pull up the poll aggregator right now. So again, this is coming from projects.538.com as a poll aggregator, which again, it's not perfect. Polls can be even just by using different terms, you can get different answers for polls. But we're working with what data we have now. And it looks like Trump... Eh? Eh, Haley's about the same as she has the past couple weeks. So Trump's coming in at 61.8%. Ron DeSantis is at 12.1%. Nikki Haley is at 11.2%. Vivek Ramaswamy is at 4.8%. Chris Christie has gone down a little bit. He's at 3.4%. Aisha Hutchinson is still up at 0.8%. Last month, he was around 0.6%. So he went up a little bit. Now, DeSantis, he actually went up a, a fraction of a hair. You have to squint really, really hard. And he did increase in the poll aggregators. Nikki Haley, truth be told, actually was beating him for a couple days. But looks like she's kind of staying steady for a little while. But again, she has more resources now. And her high fuels are probably in better fashion than Ron DeSantis' too. And that can't hurt. That, I mean, that, that's just got to help as well. But again, going back to the actual post on X... Let's go in the comments and see, am I alone in this analysis? Is everyone gonna push back and say, no Vivek, she's awesome. She's just got other things to do. She doesn't wanna go to the Hawkeye State. Let's dive and find out. Floridaman.eth who gets A plus for marketing. Their profile picture is of a man, looks like a humanoid orange with glasses and a MAGA hat. And the name Floridaman.eth actually also uses the orange emoji in the person's name. So you know exactly what they're all about. And he says, quote, this would never happen to Trump or Vivek. Goes to show exactly how much the MSM is propping her up. Without them, she would have already dropped out, unquote, getting 195 likes. Revolution, which I'm going to say, probably can guess their political affiliation by the profile picture. The profile picture is, in fact, of Truth Vivek. That's the, one of the campaign banners that he's created. And Revolution says, quote, Vivek is working harder than any other candidate. Others are canceling their events because of low attendance and blaming it on snow. 
Snow is not a deterrent for Vivek. He even did a X town hall today. Vivek clearly is the winner in Iowa and by several miles, unquote, getting 286 likes. Paul A. Susma says, quote, Nikki Haley brings the embarrassment with her. I think her advisors are forgetting that, unquote, getting 126 likes. Do a couple more here. News Nomad says, quote, brave, be out, be safe out there. Real Iowans are used to snow, unquote, getting 65 likes and very true. Let's see here. God and Country says, quote, not only will Vivek show up to any event, but he doesn't kick people out of his events who might ask him hard questions like Nikki does, unquote, getting 78 likes. Let's see here. I wish they gave the, a link to the poll, the poll sample or the data. Now someone by the name of Go Vivek Go says, quote, so Nikki Haley just pulled at 0% with a margin of error of plus or minus 4.36%. If it's actually negative, it's because those people are going to vote for Vivek Ramaswamy, unquote, getting 31 likes. Let's see here. Mike Spezzarella says, quote, she's always showing her true colors, unquote, getting 51 likes. And as I scroll more and more, see if there's any contrarian statements here. Wild Bill North Carolina says, quote, Nimrata is a, a corporate globalist puppet, unquote, getting 56 likes. Let's see here. One of the best or most liked posts or response comes from Clark who has the cliche or the, remember, this might age me quite a bit, back when Scooby-Doo was still a good cartoon and wasn't political and was very much for everyone, it, we had that cliche moment where, what are you, Shaggy, Snoopy, what was, not Bill, Daphne, Velma, dear God, have I forgotten the name, the character, the, what was the protagonist's name? Fred, Jeez Louise. Granted, it has been over, Probably two decades since I've seen the original one. And the, the Hanna-Barbera one is the one you want to watch, the original one. But nevertheless, it is a cliche moment where Fred takes a mask off of a ghost and you see it's usually an amusement park owner, a real estate tycoon, or something like that. And, you know, see who the real criminal is and you take off the costume. And someone has photoshopped that with Vivek and Vivek is unmasking the ghost and the ghost before the mask is off is Nikki Haley and it says, let's see who you really are. And he takes it off and it is, in fact, a picture of Hillary Clinton and it says, I knew it, unquote. For the record, I should say, I very much appreciate and love life and would never end it prematurely, just for the record. In case uh, anyone with anyone that rhymes with Bittens might be uh, listening to the show. Nevertheless, going back to the comments section, let's see here. We'll do one more. And again, I'm scrolling down more and more. These are getting between zero and seven likes at the moment. Uh, I guess you, you can debate if this is a contrarian statement. Steve says, quote, Vivek really wants a VP spot, unquote, getting three likes. Let's see here. I think that's, eh? All right, here's one more that has more than more nine, or at least a double digit likes. Stormy My Knight says, quote, I'm convinced now that you have a very bright future in the GOP or even a third party if we can get one started. Keep up the good work. Keep speaking for the people. Unquote. Getting 10 likes. So as youth might say, Nick Hay was ratio to say the least. And Vivek, this might be one of his most well-received tweets I've seen, I was going to say in the past year, past 12 months. Because again, the year is quite short. And again, there's oh, nearly, oh, again, that was, well, I guess you could argue that's a neutral comment from the gentleman earlier. Saying that he'd be a good VP. Because it's not pejorative, I don't believe. So yeah, this is probably one of the most successful tweets he has. Now again, she is still about double uh, points ahead of him in, of, ahead of Vivek. And again, I'm not a doctor. However, if you click the subscribe button, it may very, hell, very well may help with my speaking ineptitudes and my stuttering. Again, I'm not a doctor. There's no guarantees in life. But just saying, can't hurt to give it a shot. And if you watch my videos especially the first couple episodes, there's much more stuttering and I was speaking at a much faster pace, believe it or not. So, can't help but, I just noticed the more subscriber count goes up, the less my speaking ineptitudes appear to be showing up. Though, there are still very many, 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 many instances of them. So, if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. So again, he's been going up the polls, but can he beat her? Time shall tell. 
Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, giving a thumbs up and leaving a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback as well as help with the YouTube and running ball algorithms. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.